Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. We're still in Chapter 2. And today we're going to continue our discussion of significant figures, and we're going to do some practice and calculations. So first of all, reminder for the rules for sig figs. All non-zero integers are significant. Leading zeros are not significant. Captive zeros are significant and trailing zeros are only significant if the number contains a decimal point. Exact numbers have an infinite number of significant figures. So now let's do a little practice in figuring out how many sig figs are in a number. So how many sig figs are in each of the following? So the number 1.0070 has two types of zeros. The captive are significant. The trailing is significant because the number contains a decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sig figs. The second number here, 17.10, trailing 0, number contains a decimal, 4 sig figs. Now, 3.29 times 10 to the 3, we haven't really talked about scientific notation yet. However, in scientific notation, this part of the number, not the exponent, this part tells you the number of sig figs, so 3 for this one. And in this one, we have leading zeros, which are never significant, so this number only has 2 sig figs. Here we have 3,200,000. There is no decimal point, so the trailing zeros are not significant, so two sig figs. So now we need to talk about mathematical operations, and as things turn out, there are different rules for sig figs depending on whether you're doing multiplication and division or addition and subtraction. So for multiplication and division, the number of sig figs in the result, in your answer that's reported, has to equal the number in the least precise measurement used in a calculation. So let's look at this one. If we have the number 6.38 times 2.0, my calculator gives me 12.76. But I have to notice that the first number has three sig figs, the second number has two sig figs, and the calculator gave me four which has least, the least number, which is the fewest sig figs, and that would be this number. So I have to round my answer to two sig figs. So in this case, I have to round the number to 13. So I like to point out here, you always start counting from the left, you locate your last significant digit, in this case it's the two, you look at the number immediately following it, uh, you probably learned in elementary school that 5 and above, you give it a shove. 4 and below, you let it go. The number after R2 is a 7, so we have to round up. And that would give us the number 13 as our answer to sig figs. So let's look at calculations, look what the calculator gives us for an answer, and then round correctly. So in the first case, the calculator gives me 22.68. Here we had three sig fig versus two sig figs, so that means I have to round my answer to two sig figs. That means my correct answer would be 23. This six is going to cause me to round that up. Here we have a division problem. My calculator gives me this. I have four versus three sig figs. I'm going to have to round to three sig figs. The 1 is going to need to be rounded up, so my answer is 4.22. Here, 1 sig fig versus 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs. You'll notice my calculator gives me 4 sig figs. I have to just look at the 1 significant digit here. It's going to get rounded up. My answer will be 0 0.05. Lead zeros are not significant. Here I have two sig figs versus two sig figs. My calculator gives me a whole lot of sig figs. Two sig figs, starting counting from the left, would be the three, so my answer should be 240. Here I have one, two, three, four, five sig figs versus three. 
my calculator gives me a whole bunch. I should round to three sig figs, one, two, three. My last significant digit should be the seven, so my answer should be 5,870. Notice you don't want to lose the magnitude of the number, but you want to report the correct number of significant digits. And 1.030 divided by 2.87. My calculator is going to give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I should only report three significant figures, one, two, three. My third significant digit is the five, so my answer should be 2.96. Now we're going to talk about addition and subtraction. The number of decimal places in your answer equals the number of decimal places in your least precise measurement. That means the number that has the fewest digits to the right of the decimal point. So here we have the tenths place versus the thousandths place. Our calculator will give us 18.734, so we're going to include all of the digits in our calculation. And then we're going to have to round. And the number that is least precise here would be the tenths place, so I'm going to round my number to the tenths place. The number immediately following it is a 3, so I don't have to round up. I'm going to let it go, so my answer would be 18.7. And if I'm going to go ahead and use that number in another calculation, I would notice that that number ended up with three significant figures. So you're rounding based on the number in the measurement that had the fewest digits to the right of the decimal, in this case the tenths place, and then that resulting number would be my answer, and if I'm going on and multiplying, that would be a three sig fig number in this case. So one more sig fig practice. This time we'll have calculation. We're going to have what the calculator says, and we're going to round our answer. So in this case we're adding, we have hundredths place versus tenths place. So I'm going to have to round to the tenths place, so the correct answer would be 10.2. Here we have tenths place versus hundredths place. Calculator gives us this. We're going to round to the tenths place, so our answer should be 76.3. In this case, we have hundredths place versus thousandths place. We should round to the hundredths place, so our answer should be 2.39. Here we have tenths place versus thousandths place. We're going to round to the tenths place. Our answer should be 709.2. Here we have tenths place versus hundredths place. We're going to round to the tenths place. Our answer, answer should be 1821.6. And here we have thousandths place versus thousandths place but our calculator gives us the hundredths place, so we're going to have to add in the thousandths place, so the answer should be 0 0.160. So that is the sig fig practice for today. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.